How is the real estate market doing since the coronavirus started impacting our market right here in South Central Alaska? That is the question that we're going to be answering today in this video. Uh, before we go ahead and get started, make sure that you like this video and that you subscribe to the channel so you can receive timely updates on what is going on in the local market here or if you're just wanting to know what's happening in the Anchorage market in general. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the market update about what is going on in our real estate market since the coronavirus has hit. One of the big factors we need to look at when we're determining how the market is doing is what is the inventory? In other words, how many houses do we have that are available to sell right now? Because that's gonna give the buyers the, the most number of options and it's gonna be a really good way to kind of gauge how healthy the market is. Now, right now, our inventory overall as a state is down by 24%. That's a huge shift from the previous year, um, starting from about mid-March up to the current time. Now, specifically for Anchorage and in the Matsu Valley, in Anchorage, our inventory is down 22%, and in the Matsu Valley, it is down 20%. So as you can see, really across the board, we're seeing a pretty consistent drop and the number of houses that we had compared to this time last year. Now that's significant because buyers are gonna have fewer options. And what that, what that does is it creates a lot of, lot of momentum and it's, it's a great thing if you're a seller at the moment. Um, there's some other factors we need to look at as well, but that, that's a pretty good start. Inventories looking pretty good for the moment. The number of new listings is also something we need to look at. In other words, the number of new people that are deciding to put their homes on the market from the time that they usually would from Mar mid March up to the current time. <clears throat> that number is actually down 28% overall. In Anchorage, it's down by 26%. And in the Matsu Valley, it's a little bit better. It's only down by 18%. So still taking a cut you know, for the number of people that normally do go on the market during this time when we're gearing up for the for the summer market but it, it's still a reduction so it kind of just feeds into what we were talking about with the inventory before now another thing that we really need to look at is the number of properties that have been sold during this time from uh, like i said mid-march up to the current time overall this has gone down by eight percent okay so overall it's gone down by eight percent as a whole which just means there aren't as many people um, buying but it's a much much lower number than the number of inventory and the new listings that we had come on because keep in mind overall we had a drop of 24 percent and only drop of eight percent in the number of properties that have actually sold during that time so that tells us we have a bit of a shifting market here that's going to gear more and more towards favor of the sellers, at least for the short term. Like I said, we'll get to more on that in just a minute. So all in all, the number of homes that have actually sold has decreased by 8% and the number of homes that have sold in Anchorage has actually increased during that time by 7%. So that's that's huge. What that means is in this sector of the, the real estate economy, you still have a lot of people who are trying to buy and get their properties that are under contract sold and done through escrow a lot faster than usual. So there really is a lot of motivation to just get stuff closed quickly. That's, that's really kind of what we see reflected in the numbers. For the Matsu Valley, we're seeing a decrease of 10%, okay? So that's, that's pretty on par with what we're seeing with the rest of the state. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get to the number of sold, the sold price for these, uh, for these properties and kind of the, some other factors we use to determine it. Um, in the meantime though, if this has been useful, make sure that you post any questions you have down below, that way I can answer them. And um, make sure that you share this with anybody who would find it, find it useful. Now, without further ado, let's go and talk about the average sold price for properties from mid-March up to the current time compared to the same time period last year. So we can start getting a good feel for what the pandemic is doing to the local market. 
for the sold price, it has actually increased by 12% from this time last year. So that's, that's good. In Anchorage, we're seeing an increase of 13%, so pretty close to the average overall for the state. And for the Matsu Valley, we're seeing an increase of 8%. Now, sold price, I'm not, I'm not always very on board with using that as an indicator. And the reason is, it could really just be a matter of a couple million dollar homes, more than usual sold, and so therefore, it's gonna throw the numbers off a little bit. But still a favorable indication. It just means that we're not seeing a, the bottom fall out of the market or anything just yet. What I do look at more closely as a, accurate reflection of how the market is doing is the list to sales ratio. And what this is, is it says this is how much we put the property on the market for and this is how much it actually sold for. If it comes in like 99% of what you're asking for, that's good, okay? That means it's a pretty strong market. It's not gonna be anything crazy where um, you're gonna ask for $100,000 and someone's gonna lowball you with a $70,000 offer and expect a, uh, a good result from that or expect, um, expect that to be taken seriously. So that's, that's good. We wanna see that list of sales ratio pretty tight because it means that the market is, is doing well. Now overall, now overall, we're actually seeing a slight decrease overall for the state. It went from about 97% to 96%. So that, that's a decrease of about 1%. Now let's have a look at Anchorage and in the Matsu Valley, okay? These are actually both maintaining right at about 99%. And some price ranges we've actually seen that that has increased from where it usually is this time of year. So overall for the two largest real estate markets, in this area. I'm not seeing any softening up of prices just yet. That could obviously change. Now, what does all this mean? Well, it means the properties are still selling. If you are looking at getting on the market, now is not a bad time. It's really not. Because what we're saying about the inventory with all the people that have, um, they're essentially keeping their houses off the market because they, they want to wait for a good time or wait until it feels a lot safer, a lot, a lot more stable. They are all gonna be coming on the market probably at about the same time, as soon as they um, you know, open the floodgates and say, we're, we're all good to go, back to normal, um, as normal as we can be. <laughs> so all those folks are probably gonna be coming on at about the same time, which means there's going to be a lot of inventory all of a sudden, if I had to make any, any predictions or um, make a hypothesis on how this is gonna play out. So we're gonna see a lot of inventory all of a sudden. So if you are looking at getting your property on the market during the upcoming summer period, this might actually be a really good time because we've got a little bit of a window here where the inventory is still low, the list to sales ratio is still good, and the days on market are, are pretty low as well. That's something we saw across the board that the days on market was down from where it usually is this time of year. Thank you for watching. If this has been useful, make sure that you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can receive more information like this on a regular basis. A big part of making sure that you position yourself well on the upcoming market is just making sure that you stay informed on what is going on.